Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about web hosting providers and what you need to take into consideration before you pick one. I'll be showing you all key elements that you need to look for when picking a web hosting service. And I'll also be giving some recommendations throughout the video, so stay tuned. So if you wanna start a great website, but you're not sure which web hosting to use, this video is gonna be for you. So without further ado, let's get into it. Also, if at any point in this video, you'd like to check out any web hosting service that I mentioned, you'll find all the useful links in the description down below to help you save some extra money. Now, the first and most important step of choosing a web hosting service provider is actually understanding what your site needs. This involves considering key factors such as the project scope, traffic, platform, features, security, and budget. First, determine the purpose of your site, whether it's for personal or business use. Also, estimate the potential website traffic to find a web host that can provide sufficient resources. And you should also decide whether to use a self-hosted hosted service and select a web host that supports your preferred web creation tool. And it's important to consider the necessary bandwidth and storage to run your website, as well as the scalability of the web hosting solution to allow for future growth. On top of that, you should consider the level of security required for your website, such as in the case of an online store that needs to protect customer data. Finally, setting up a budget for your hosting services can help organize your long-term spending. By understanding these factors, you can make better decisions in your search for the right web host, and it's recommended to write down your website needs before proceeding. Once you're done with that, you're going to need to research and compare sites. And here's some tips on how to do that. First, check out reviews from real users on sites like Host Advice and Trustpilot. These platforms are known for providing honest and impartial feedback, which will give you a good idea of what you can expect from the provider. Another way to assess a hosting provider's legitimacy is to look for money back guarantees or free trial options. This will help you to try out the web host services without risking any of your hard earned cash. Finally, it's always a good idea to contact customer support and see how responsive they are. If a provider takes a long time to respond to customer queries or doesn't provide helpful solutions, it might be best to steer clear. If you wanna take things a step further, you can use online tools like Site Checker to reveal a website's hosting provider. This will give you a clearer idea of which providers are most popular and might be worth investigating further. We recommend making a list of your top three providers so you can easily compare their pros and cons. Now it's time to compare their technology and features to determine which one is the best fit for you. Each hosting provider has its own unique approach to boosting website performance, so it's important to do some research before making a decision. For example, Hostinger, which is a service I personally use, has Lightspeed web servers, LSWS, and an in-house web application firewall to enhance its technology and strengthen security. As you continue your search, here are a few factors to keep in mind. Firstly, check out the web host data centers. It's a good idea to choose a provider with multiple server locations worldwide and make sure there's a data center near you to ensure low latency. Next, see if the provider offers a migration option if you're looking to transfer web hosts. Hostinger, for example, offers a free and seamless website migration service. Domain names are also a crucial element of a website, so check if your web host offers domain name registration with their hosting plans. This can simplify the website building process and help you choose the right domain for your site. Finally, having a custom email is a great additional feature for business websites and online stores as it can help boost your credibility. So keep an eye out for web hosts that offer email services. Moving on, it's extremely important to have a dependable support team that can help you out anytime, day or night to fix any website issues that may come up. Before picking a web host, it's essential to ensure that they offer various support options. There are different types of support services, but here are some of the main ones you should look for when selecting a web host. Live chat is a popular customer service method that's ideal for getting fast answers. Most web hosts also provide transcripts of the conversation to keep track of problems and progress. Email support is also an excellent option for non-urgent issues or inquiries. Customer service can solve the problem without responding right away. If you prefer explaining problems verbally, search for a web hosting service that provides phone support. However, note that most providers only offer this as a premium service. Check if the web host has a knowledge base that answers frequently asked questions. This resource can be particularly helpful for beginners in website development. A reliable web host will provide industry-related tutorials and blog posts. This is excellent for people who like to learn and solve problems independently. If you're unsure about a provider's customer support quality, you can check reviews about their service. Next, you're going to need to find the right hosting plan. Now, there are many different types of hosting services available, and each one has its own pros and cons. First, we have shared hosting that allows multiple websites to run on the same physical server and share its resources, which means that any issues faced by other websites on the same server can 
affect the performance of your own site. Compared to other types of hosting, shared hosting is the most affordable and requires minimal technical knowledge. Most shared hosting providers offer a user-friendly control panel that simplifies website management. Hostinger, for instance, has an intuitive custom H panel that makes website management a breeze. Shared hosting is ideal for low to medium traffic websites such as personal portfolios, blogs, and small business sites. Another hosting option is VPS hosting. VPS or virtual private server hosting provides you with a shared server but with dedicated partitions that guarantee more stable and secure website performance thanks to allocated resources. Resources. It's crucial to consider the compatibility of your preferred operating system when selecting a VPS hosting plan. For example, Hostinger offers instant Linux deployment for their VPS plans. VPS hosting is an excellent option for medium-sized websites since it's a middle ground between a shared and dedicated server. However, it requires technical expertise and has a steep learning curve since site owners get full root access to configure and maintain the server. Hostinger offers eight VPS plans that vary based on memory, storage space, and bandwidth, allowing you to choose the most appropriate VPS for your project. Next up, we have cloud hosting. Cloud hosting provides reliable uptime and is considered the best web hosting service. It offers dedicated resources similar to VPS hosting while still maintaining the user friendliness of shared hosting. This service utilizes cloud technology to distribute the workload of running a website to a network of cloud servers. In case one server fails, another server takes over to ensure the website remains functional. Cloud hosting is an excellent option for websites that expect high traffic, and it's also suitable for medium to large businesses looking to enhance their website speed and user experience. Hostinger provides fully managed cloud hosting plans that come with free domain name registration and SSL certificates. These plans differ based on the amount of disk space, RAM, and CPU cores and are pretty affordable. Lastly, there's WordPress hosting, which is specifically designed to boost your website's performance and security if you're using the WordPress Content Management System, CMS. Most providers will take care of any WordPress-related updates and technical adjustments, making it a great option for those who want to focus on content creation rather than technical aspects. Now that I've covered the process of picking and comparing services, here's some additional things to take into consideration throughout your search. When you're creating a website, choosing the right platform and web hosts are crucial for success. The platform you choose will affect how easy it is to create and manage your site, and the web host you choose will impact your website's performance, storage, and security. Content management systems, CMS, like WordPress, Joomla, and Drupal are popular choices for building websites from scratch, but they require more technical knowledge to manage. If you want a simpler option, consider a website builder. Most web hosts offer an auto installer for these platforms. Hostinger, for example, is an excellent option that offers a whole lot of features, including auto installers for an affordable price. When choosing a web host, storage and bandwidth are important factors to consider. Storage refers to the space where your website's files and data are stored, while bandwidth is the amount of data that your website can transfer within a given period. It's recommended to pick a plan that offers 50% more resources than your website needs to ensure optimal performance. Speed and optimization are also important for website performance. Look for a web host that uses a fast web server and has multiple server locations. Some hosts also offer a content delivery network or CDN to speed up content delivery. Finally, website security is crucial to protect sensitive information from malicious attacks. Consider choosing a web host that offers SSL certificates, firewalls, and backups to secure a website. So overall, choosing the right web hosting service is crucial for the success of your website. Make sure to consider the platform, storage and bandwidth, speed and optimization, security, and ease of setup and use when selecting your provider. I personally prefer using Hostinger, which I consider to be overall the best out of all the web hosting sites because it excels at all the points that I previously mentioned. And so that's going to be it for this video. Again, if you're interested in trying out Hostinger, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you guys have any questions as I really like getting to interact with you. And of course, like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or if you'd like to stay up to date with our future videos. Guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.